Hello students, I'm Praveen Khetan and we are solving today for bond yield using BA2 plus financial calculator. In the previous video, we discussed about bond price, how to calculate bond price using BA2 plus financial calculator. So let's understand there's a situation or there's an example here. Calculate bond yield to maturity of $1,000 face value bond with a coupon rate of 5% per annum. And the current bond price is already given that is $926.40. So here the bond price here is $926.40. Maturity is 10 year, coupon price is 5%, face value is $1,000, right? And uh, we have calculated the yield using the rate formula in bond price. So same thing we wanna calculate using the financial calculator BA2 plus, right? So let's press the second key and clear the TVM here. And once the TVM is clear, now start entering the values. So press again second and press the PY. PY here is two, but PY has to be one because the payment is made once a year. So press one and press enter key. And then again, second key and quit, right? It's done. Now start putting other values. So a thousand, okay. And uh, then uh, we will put the FV, that is the face value or the future value you will receive. And then you have payment, which is 50. This is the payment. And then 10, which is your number of times compounded or you can say 10 times is the duration 10 years is the duration and then you enter the present value that is 9 to 6.40 okay now make sure you put a minus sign in front of this because this is the amount you are paying so here you have a plus minus button at the bottom you click here so you have minus sign now here now press the pv button pv right so all the inputs we have entered, it's time to compute. So press the CPT button and why I want to get IY. So press IY here. So IY we got here is 6%. So this is same as we solved here using the financial calculator. Now in another video or in another example, I'm sorry, we're going to discuss how about if the payment is made semi-annual. So in that situation, what we have to do? So same as in the bond price, we have to actually increase the payment per year time and we have to reduce the payment amount by half because it is semi-annual payment. So 5% per year, that is $50 per year. So in six months, you will receive $25. So the payment will be $25 in every payment. And the number of period would be 20 times because it's twice a year for 10 years. So it's 20 times and the bond price we have given now let's input all these numbers into the financial calculator and let's see the result. So first of all, click the second button, clear TVM, clear the work, start fresh. So start with entering the PY. So PY here is one, we have to enter two and then press the enter button. It is two now. Now press the second key, you'll see second return here. Press the compute button. So you have the zero zero everything is entered py is entered that is two now start putting other values thousand okay and then you have this is the face value 25 dollars this is the payment you receive 20 this is the number of times payment in 10 years and then we have nine to six point four zero and put a minus sign in front of this. This, as we discussed, this is the payment we are paying. So minus here, and then calculate the IY. So compute, okay? So you have to press the compute button and then press the IY here. Aha, we get error here. Let's see why we are receiving an error here. So let's do it again. So press the second key, clear TVM, and let's enter the values. So first of all, the PY, PY is twice a year, that's perfectly fine, quit. And now let's enter the 
face value that is thousand the face value 25 we're gonna receive as the payment and 20 is my n and nine to six point four zero put a minus sign here and this is the py okay and now what we have to do is to calculate the iy so second sorry so simply press the compute key and press iy now we got 5.9889 so in two decimal point it will be 5.8 5.99 so let's increase this thing and see that's almost the same figure 9899 okay it's the same value so in the last one we made some wrong input but then in second attempt we got the correct answer okay so just keep practicing and you will have good command over it it's easy to calculate see the beauty of financial calculator is you can calculate any figure if you know all the remaining values except one so i know all these four okay including interest rate we can calculate the future value similarly if you know any figure we don't know out of these five okay we can get the i'm so sorry <laughs> so there are almost four inputs one two three four five so out of five if you know the four we can get the fifth value it's easy to calculate most of the time students make mistakes at two things the py they don't change it and the present value they don't put a minus sign there okay so keep practicing and you will have good command take care then bye bye